Hi. Go ahead, Nolan. Julia, congratulations on the win. Uh, how are you feeling just a, a few minutes after stepping outside the cage here? I'm, I'm feeling good. Yeah, I, I wish I got the finish, but um, I knew how tough she was coming in. No one's ever finished her. Um, and I knew she's been in the game for a long time. So uh, I, did, I, did, I prepared properly for her and it was, yeah, it went the distance, but I wish I got the finish there. When you go to the judges' scorecards and you start to hear that it's going to be a split, were you nervous at all that it was going to go the other way? Not really, but you never know, right? So that's one of the reasons why you want to finish the fight and not go to the judges is because you never know. Um, some person, somebody might be seeing something different than the other two, and or two people might be seeing it differently. I don't know, but um, yeah, I was just I, I was proud of my performance tonight. And you told me before the fight that you, you kind of wanted to go out there, put on a showing that would maybe have you cut in front of Kat Singano, yeah. kind of twist Scott Coker's arm a little bit. Do you feel like you did that tonight? I mean, judging by the opponents that we just fought, I think I could probably twist his arm and, and uh, mine was a little bit different than her opponent that she finished. But at the same time, I'd be happy to fight her. I'd be happy. I want to get my belt back. So whatever it takes, um, I'm hoping to have a conversation with Scott and, and sit down and see what kind of the next few fights look for, like for me. So. so you would be potentially open to fighting once more if it came <laughs> yeah. down to it? Yeah, for sure. I want to I want to get in there as much as possible. And um, I'm proud of uh, what I've done in the Bellator 145 division. Um, I'm this is my home. I've this is my 10th fight with them. And um, yeah, I hope to continue fighting and and fight as much as possible. This week was totally different with me and Junior both fighting. And um, it was a lot. Like we didn't know what to really expect. We knew we just had to kind of separate ourselves and, and, but we're each other's training partners. We're each other's, like we help each other with weight cut and everything and doing it together was definitely a lot. But um, now that we've got one under our belt, I'm sure I hope we can fight again on the same card. Jay Anderson. Hey Julia, congrats uh, on the win. Talk me, uh, talk to me a little bit about fighting on the same card with Lance. Are you more nervous when he goes out for his fight or when you go out for your fight? I was uh, more nervous for his fight, to be honest. And and it was like, it, judging by how much time we were going to have in between each other's fights, I was kind of, I was just hoping that I didn't get a huge adrenaline dump and then, um, you know, be, be like heavy and, and uh, slow for my fight. So I was just, um, I was super excited for him, super proud of him. He fought a tough guy tonight and we knew, we knew we were fighting tough opponents. So, yeah. And you talked about it a little, but, uh, you know, as a former champion, do you almost feel like the, the third wheel at this point? I mean, we've got Leslie Smith books against Cyborg. We've got Scott talking about Kat Zingano, but you're the former title holder. Yeah, I know. I need to get, I, yeah, I, w I want that belt back. I want to fight. I want to fight her again. Um, like I said before the fight, I never accept failure, and I know I could put way more into that fight and uh, come out with the win. So that's what I want. Donna? Julia, um, it, it's looking like Cyborg's next fight is, is going to, well, obviously she has one booked and then it's looking like they're looking at a at, at another opponent than yourself. Would you maybe get in there with someone like, a, for example, like a, a Sinead Kavanaugh while you, while you wait for that, uh, that title shot? <laughs> yeah, yeah, always. We're, you know, any of the girls that have been kind of along for, you know, that she's been in Bellator as well for a long time. She's a super tough girl. Um, yeah, I'd be willing. I'm willing to fight anybody. I've never picked my opponents. I kind of got thrown in the deep end when I first started MMA and um, I'm willing to fight anyone. The, the commentators were not particularly kind to you tonight. They, they were saying that you were um, on the broadcast. They were saying you, you were maybe a bit gun shy that, that of course they could see that, who the better fighter was, but that you weren't uh, pushing the issue enough. Uh, what, what would mm -hmm. you say to criticisms like that? Um, I got to listen to it. I haven't really heard what they, they, what they were saying, but I'll listen to it and hear their comments and, and uh, yeah, that's all I can do. Last one, Ronald. Yeah, this is Ronald Smith. Julia, being ranked number one, there's always going to be more pressure on you because people expect you to just to dominate the opponent you're facing. Do you feel that there was more pressure on yourself to go out and dominate your opponent? Yeah, yeah, I do. I feel like there's always a lot of pressure on me, but um, I was excited to get in there and I felt great tonight. Thank you very much, Julia. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Julia. Appreciate the time.